Salutations friends and welcome to another video of Spellforce 2, the Shadow Wars campaign. Okay, Leah is done healing, but this map will require a bit of preparation. Shawl can be a bit of a mess with all the necromancers and skeletons, which is why I think... Well, the Avatar is okay. Don't think we can give him any better equipment. How about armor? Yeah, the moon silver necklace. Yeah, it's the best thing we have for him. How about you guys? Yeah, definitely let him keep his armor. Leah, hmm. We could give her this, but well, yeah, it's going to give her more armor. But the mana regeneration We'll do it, even if it's just for this map, just for the extra points in armor and health, because I imagine, yeah, we'll get surrounded by a lot of skeletons. Let's see. I think she's okay with the scholar hood. Now, as for weapons, I don't want her to be in melee, so Flamebringer. That's 225 damage over 3 seconds and an additional 300 in the target area. That seems pretty good. Necklace, her own is fine. Anything particularly useful here? Not really. So I think she's okay. Yared. Now, Yared and... Let's see. Let's go for Shay first. Yeah, her robe of memory is pretty pretty okay. Same thing with the World War World Walkers band. So no, and there's probably no stuff we can give her that's better than the one she has. Yeah. That's pain. The one she has is 300. Well, this one would give her better stats. Well, just mana, not really health points. We'll leave it like this. Yeah, they're okay. But Mordecai and Yared here, they will be basically my siege units and my demolishers, since we have a couple of crossbows here that do siege damage, so that's yeah, 10% to buildings. Yeah, 10% extra damage to buildings is definitely something I want here in Shal. There are a lot of enemy towers, and sometimes you can't get to them, which is why I want to take them out quickly, while the Avatar and the units are busy fighting the enemy armies. So that's why I need these two to do, well, siege damage. So let's give this one to Mordecai. That's 30% damage to buildings. Flying units are not really a problem in Shal, so definitely 10%. And these two should be pretty powerful against any, well, any buildings. That way we'll just worry about sending him on towards the towers while the avatar, well, tanks. Hmm. How about this? Would give him less mana and armor. Yeah, let's let him keep that. Really, you can wear this. Precision. That's six, and... Yeah, his cap is already pretty good. How about a melee weapon? Nope, let's let him keep the... Rapier. Yeah, he's pretty well equipped. Now Mordecai. You're okay as well. That ranged damage is more than welcome. Armor. I think he is okay as well. So yeah, I think we're ready to go. So let's do it. The Avatar. I don't think we can give him 
a better melee weapon. Can we? Or a shield, maybe? What's this? Soul Reaper. That's 300... No, that's 500 damage of black magic. So basically, life tap. Hmm. Okay, that's less damage, but it's a faster weapon. How about this? Both of them are faster than my weapon, but none of them do like almost 2000 damage in black magic. But it's only 7%. Probability, this is 15. Should I try it? It's just a tiny dagger, nothing impressive, but... It could be good. Hmm... I mean... It does have piercing. No, yeah, let's go with the Sword of the Dragon Slayer. Holy Wrath would be good against the skeletons. Now I'm kind of torn here. But no, I need him to do as much damage as possible. He's still wearing a necklace of level 14. Okay then, let's see. What can we give him? Probably just the highest one. So the one that gives him more armor and health points. Let's go with this one. Projectile resistance and 35 armor. And that's it. That's enough of editing our heroes. Let's go and talk to poor Ur here. So we can begin Shaul. Patriarch. Listen, child. You have to do what I never could do. I owed my life to Malachi. But now, at the threshold of death, I am free. And I beg you to stop him, or he'll unleash the Malar and start his work all over again until he has formed the creation unto his will. Look for his old laboratory in the crystal forest. That's where he will begin. Patriarch. Rest in peace, blood of my blood. All the doors are closed. Poor Malachi Ur. is escaping. Damn. Well, not that I like doing this, but we'll get his dragon skin. Poor Ur. Okay, let's avenge him. Well, okay. guess the door opens anyway. Where is Solvina? The soul of my unspeakable father has taken command of her. He's fled into the crystal forest. I have to follow him. You think you'll get out of here alive, Shadow Friend? There's a civil war raging out there. Then let me win this war for you, but help me to stop Malachi. All right then, we're losing. We don't have enough raw materials, nor do we control any town quarters. Look for the flags and secure them. You will also control the respective depot in this way. If we conquer all 15 depots, the town belongs to us. Okay then, let's just get this chest here. I just thought that Ur's fate was merciful. Sorvina can bring worse things to a creature than just death. She drove lots of creatures insane with experiments. She still keeps some of them as prisoners in Shaw, living in constant We should free them. And we will. Now, always go for the necromancers. And this map will be full full of them. These two shadow blades, they're not gonna last long. It's a pretty shitty unit. Now, we won't collect resources in the, well, the normal well way. Done. You have conquered a depot. We just need to conquer these depots and they will generate resources for us. So, this one. Let's go straight for this one. Let's let our two demolishers ruin that tower. 
get the journey stone first. While we keep building our base. Shit. Should have gone for the upgrade first. Let's get a couple of death knights over here as quickly as possible. How's their damage? Nice. It's pretty okay. Let's kill the necromancer quickly. Or the skeletons will never end. They're sending out some troops, but nothing that we can't handle. Now I need at least five Death Knights for starters. Let's get as many farms as possible. I don't think we'll be able to get more than 50 limit here in the limit of units. Well done, you have conquered a depot. That's two depots. Now, normally, you would have... What's this? Nice! Can we give that to... Boar? Yeah, definitely! Well, have some new armor. Now, his helmet is... what? Yeah, that's great. Now, normally, I would go after this base. Yeah, we'll leave this base, this base over here. It's, I think it's the largest. For for last, let's just interrupt this base growth. So maybe we can stop them from growing. And just annihilate them as quickly as possible. So two death knights. So we can get five to defend the base. Or maybe just send them to help the avatar. Now the two demolishers focus on killing that. The Avatar, I think... Holy shit. That seems like a bit much. Well, just kill anything you want. That's gonna be a problem. Let's see. Let's get a couple of slaves. I want them to build towers. Now, these five will go there and help them. So yeah, as expected, the Necromancers are already... War is surrounded, but we can handle that. Now, to defend the base, I will... Yeah, the Death Knights will help the Avatar. And to defend the base, we'll get a couple of Necromancers, like 10. And a couple of sorceresses. We need to kill this damn necromancer quickly. That's it, Boar. Good job. You managed to interrupt them from growing. Shit, they managed to get the Black Fortress. Did I? Okay then. No problem, we'll just get it back. Resources really aren't a problem. At least in Shal. Come on you two. Now, any necromancers around? Yeah, there it. There she is. Kill it, kill it quickly. There. Nice. So we have a couple of skeletons. Not that we need them. Let's get ten sorceresses.
Okay, so you don't need to do this, I just do it to spare me the trouble of fighting two enemy bases. And there's no advantage in farming them, so just destroy their base. Now, that's five. Okay, need more slots. Let's get this and this. Then we'll start upgrading them. We're already pretty high on resources for starters with just three depots. Let's get the Death Knights there to capture that. Now, this is a very good number for just defense. Let's get a couple more. Just so we get an exact number. And then we'll start filling the map with towers. Just stay there until you capture that. They want to get their, their black fortress up. But that's well not done. going to happen. There, they're finished. Okay, 22 to protect the base is a decent number. All of the mages. The necromancers will be especially useful when there are enough dead bodies. They'll just start spamming. Spamming skeletons, which is what I wanted to say. Now we need stone for the altar of life. And I will get it, just in case something goes wrong. I don't think we have any. Do we? No. Now I could get hmm, arachnids. The arachnids. They summon a spider. But it's three slots, I don't really think it's worth it. You might as well get Death Knights and Necromancers. Okay, are you guys finished? Okay, the Avatar gets that. And now we need to start pouring out towers. Let's get... Let's just spam them. Here they come. Now I am recruiting a lot of sorceresses, but I'm not really checking out their stats. Let's just see how worth it they are. They do some melee damage, but that's pretty shitty. But 400 damage in black magic? That's something. Now I'll get five more death knights, and the rest will be necromancers. That's it. Now let's just keep spamming towers. The Dark Elf upgrade, it's just Lenya, and it does... Damage spell is reinforced, so that would be more damage, and higher range. That's three, another three. Okay, when we eventually capture more depots, Resources will be, will get, will get more resources quickly. Let's get the high archons loot. Damn, God Slayer. Good one. Let's get this depot as well. Now the enemy will rarely attack you, but when they do, they just go for your camp. You could get a couple of towers around these depots. But normally, what I do is just close off these entrances. 
So that way you will be able to protect this depot and this one and this one with just one entrance. And I will be expanding through the north probably. I want to get these death knights as reinforcement. Well done, you have conquered a depot. While the towers, the necromancers and the sorceresses will protect the base. At least until we are happy with our current situation. Enough so we can just charge at their camp. And even then, the enemy has so many necromancers inside their base that it becomes just a grindy battle. So I just need to make sure we safeguard our buildings. Remember, you can lose as many units as you want. We have infinite resources. No. The enemy still holds the majority of the depots. Let's attack this one. We do have the Death Knights. Now, what I think I'll do is start reinforcing the towers over here. The red base no longer has any buildings, so they're no longer a threat. Only these yellow guys. And it's a pretty formidable base. No tower here, so it should be pretty easy. There goes the Necromancer. Let's upgrade all these. And these five will just hold and repair our towers. Could get you over here. Well done. You have conquered a depot. And you will stay there. All of them upgraded. That's fine. I'm quite confident the enemy won't make it this far, but I'll upgrade anyway. Yeah, they just want to strike at your base. actually get another up here so it will be tougher for them to reach it now the nether beast we can rescue it I think his key is over here we'll get the key release it and I have no idea where he's going probably after me there's the key you guys, stop following me. Go there. What the? There goes Boar, and you are ready to open the cell. And hopefully we can escape it. Let's run away. Come on. Quickly. To this district, and then... Let's just see where it will go. Probably after me. Yeah, as expected. No, it's just gonna stay there. Well, at least it will guard my depot. I hope so. Now, attack over here. As always. The two demolishers will take care of the towers. No slave, run away.
They really want to kill him, don't they? Keep reinforcing your base. Now, this battle over here... Again, after the towers, please. And this damn necromancer. Still one left. Okay, let's bring in the Death Knights. Yeah, I don't think they'll attack us here. Much less take out this post. With the Nether Beast there. It does limit my movement a bit. I'll try and not trigger it. At least until well we done. have dealt with you the Dark Elves. The now you can get as many more as many towers as we can get. Now there's another beast over there. Damn it. I should have started from down here. Get all of them down here. The two of you... No, we have the Death Knights there. Don't actually need it. What the... Okay. Well, let's get another tower. Shit, they've ruined it. Repair that. Didn't make it in time. Well, just clear the way. That's the key to this nether beast. You can fall back. Get another tower, get another tower, and just spam towers. Nope, not that. Go back to the base. Now I could try and go for their base, but that's gonna probably end badly. These posts aren't really gonna attack us, they just want to hold them. And then we can conquer them. By ourselves. Okay, a bit of a freeze over there, but apparently we're okay. God damn it. Why does this game still has these these problems? Apparently it's only me. People tend to run it pretty stably. Stable. It's a pretty stable game for others, but I just tend to run into so many damn bugs and glitches. Let's try and run away from it. Okay guys, I'm not sure if you're getting this, so let me just save. But the game seems to be freezing a lot. So bear with me. I did manage to free the nether beast, now I'm trying to escape it. Now I don't know exactly where he is going. Let's get the heroes. So they don't trigger him. No, come back. No, I don't want you to fight them. Get back, get back. 
Now they're gonna trigger this one. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that seems fine. Larger attack over here, nothing we can't handle. Now, what I think I'll do is... Yeah, I think I'll just go for their base. Go ahead and attack them. Death Knights, you guys can come here as well. And since we are leaving, let's try and protect this depot. Hmm, let's hope the freezing has stopped has stopped, so we can continue with the map relatively safe. Now we should be able to take out these. Just a necromancer. Two necromancers actually. That's it. We do have plenty of resources should we need to rebuild our army. But maybe I should do it after they attack me? Resurrect one dead unit. Well. Hmm. Should I give it to Shay? That would be useful. But I have no idea how many enemies we'll kill. We'll see. The enemy base is just over here. Let's get all of these and the Death Knights. If the enemy does attack... I don't think so, because we will at be attacking their main base. They will be pretty busy defending. Let's get rid of the towers, obviously. Keep healing Night Song because her bikini armor isn't as useful as she thinks. Now, just get the Death Knights in there and everyone else. Oh, it's the Sinistrim. Okay. Let's try and kill him. There he goes. Now Yared and Mordecai. Might as well target the Magma, Magma Forge. Battle cry and battle cry. Now the towers, obviously. Any necromancers around? Yep, there they are. Stay on her. Come on. That's it. Nice. So already you can see just the spam of skeletons. 27, that's all ours. And that's the only way you can beat this base. 
or else they'll just keep spamming skeletons and you will have no other way of beating them. Let's get a battle cry for our whole army. There goes their fortress. No more units. Let's just worry about the headquarters. Damn, the Death Knights are holding on. A lot better than I was expecting. So they can worry about the headquarters. You too. Take out this last tower. The Avatar as well, and Boar. Necromancers just stay there and spam skeletons. And the poor Skurg's getting killed. And there goes their base, finally. Still one beetle breather. But if not for these two and their siege bows, things would be a lot harder. Now the Sinistrim, let's loot his body. Now the enemy will not get any more reinforcements since we did take out their camp. And we can get as many as we want. Arch power. Nice. Okay, so we can just pick and choose where we want to attack them. Let's start there. Rally our whole army and attack them. Didn't want to do that. Let's try and make a different group for all of them. That's it. You can come over here. Okay guys, I, I'm not sure what footage you're seeing, I'll try and edit this decently, but the game is freezing a lot. It's gonna be a pain to just, well, edit. And it would be well a damn pain in the ass to go back and do this map again, so bear with me. I'll try and do my best. Let's just save the game again. Oh man. I mean, I didn't get this on Drachlur. Any of it. Now, Shal, the game is freezing a lot. No idea why. Okay, this depot is ours. These as well. This one is ours. Let's go for the one up north. Really, no idea why the game is freezing so much. Hopefully it was the last time. Maybe I'll just need to reinstall it again. Hmm, okay. Let's just... Necromancers first, obviously. Damn, Banner Guardian level 14, but he can still take a ton of damage. Okay, forget about that, it's basically all Necromancers. Send in our army. Should be over pretty quickly. They can summon all the skeletons they want. I mean, Shal, you can... Basically just get necromancers and the skeletons will win the battle for you. It's basically that easy.
And remember to pick up some bows, some siege bows for your heroes. Now the army stays here so they can capture that post. The heroes will go on to take this one. And when they are ready, they will join us. Shal. You have conquered a depot. Shal, do not mistake it for Shaldun, because Shaldun is... I've been studying the Spellforce map for a bit. And there are quite a lot of Dark Elf lands and kingdoms. And Shal is in Fiara, while Shaldun is in Urgath. So, basically the, the marshlands. So yeah, the Dark Elves sure do love their civil wars. Because the last time we saw any Dark Elf capital cities in Breath of Winter, Shaldun, there was also a civil war. And here we are in Shal, another Dark Elf capital. And here they are in civil war again. Which I find that it's really cool since there are a lot of Dark Elf lands that we didn't get to see yet. In Empyria. There are also two I think I think it's two. Dark Elf Camp Dark Elf Kingdoms? I'm not sure. But if you study the world map of Spellforce, you can definitely see some of the Dark Elf buildings. So their buildings basically tell you that that's a capital. Same thing for the humans and the elves. But, surprisingly, in Fiara, which is the land of the Highmark and the other kingdoms in Spellforce 2, well done. Shal is basically the last capital of the Dark Elves, at least in this land. Okay, another depot. Dawnblade. Nice. Now, we did lose a Death Knight there. We really don't need to worry. We can get as many units as we want, but they cannot. Now our siege heroes here will take care of the rest. And while everyone is focused on the heroes, we'll send in our army. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The army will take care of that. That should be only two left. And I'll kill the nether beast after that. I'm not sure if you need to kill them, but they do give they do give loot. Hmm. couple of skeletons, not that they will make it well to this yeah, post, but we'll send them there anyway. Okay, the army is ready. Send them over here. So, yeah, just basically taking out their bases as quickly as possible, as soon as you have an army. And the map was just so damn easy. But I've had battles that lasted for, I don't know, hours. That I just... I really underestimated the Dark Elf Necromancers. And how strong they can be by just spamming skeletons. Oh, a Titan! Okay. Let's focus on him. Shit. Okay. 
there. So as much as the enemy does spawn some skeletons to fight you, your necromancers just spawn so many more. There, let's get the loot. Leave them here. Skeletons, try and attack them. I don't think we have any more nether beasts. Well done. You have just these the two. Now, as for the West Guard, yeah, I think I'll do that in basically after we finished the game. Since you can actually continue the game after finishing it. So I will do that. So it will be kind of interesting. So after the story, I'll go for the West Guard. You guys, stay there. Get that journey stone. And we've made it. Now one of the nether beasts should be over here. Okay, is it well gonna done. freeze again? A depot. Let me just save, because I am super scared right now. You have all the depots. The town belongs to us. Nice. So it's basically over. Now where the hell is that nether beast? I didn't kill it. Did it come here? Did I kill it? Or maybe he just went on to attack the dark elves and got killed. We'll send the death knights there just to make sure while we go after this one. So we can already go on to the Crystal Wastes, but I won't do that yet. And I know there's loot to get here, but it's so damn annoying again with the levers. I am not a fan of this, as you probably know already. Hmm. Tower shields, yeah, let's get that. Not that we have any. Yeah, should probably buy some. Oh, apparently he is there. Or is it just a titan? Okay, you guys can take him. Can you? Probably not. Let's wait for the army. But you can take on this one. Pretty easily. Now, all of you. Is it gonna come after me? No, I don't think so. I don't think we have any missing loot. No, we got it all. Aside from this small room. Yeah, I'll go there, because I know there's a chest over there. Now, is the army going to be enough to kill one titan? Let's hope so. He is level 16. So he is lower level. I should be able to kill him. But I'm not sure. Yeah, easily. There it is. But that was a titan. I need to find out where that nether beast is. If there is any. Probably not. They've probably killed it. And there's a merchant. Get the chest. Fragment of the time portal. Something we definitely want. Just one random archon. 
And a merchant. What do you have? Meh. It costs too much and it isn't that much better than the loot we have. Yeah, I'll just skip it. Now, you need to get the levers. Hmm. It's so annoying. I hate this. I've hated this in all Spellforce games. As much as I love these games, not a fan of these levers and other puzzles. But I know you need to get them in the correct combination. These have to stay towards the left and the right, first to open one of them. You need to get them all towards the right and then all of them towards the left. I think that's it. But I'm just not going to bother with it. I'll just keep moving. Yep, I am not going to spend my time doing that. Let's go on to the district of the Archons. That should be the portal to the Crystal Wastes, and we'll have a cutscene. Before I get to the cutscene, let me save again. I'm getting paranoid, but I have a reason to be. The rebels are very grateful to you, Shai Khan. Is this here the portal to the Crystal Forest? No, to the Crystal Wastes. The Crystal Forest lies farther to the south of it. The rebels and I will support you. Our victory will only be complete when Solvina is dead. Well, you've come to your senses, finally. So yeah, as I was saying, probably... As for the West Guard, I think I'll just finish the game and then do the West Guard. So just a small campaign. It's one of my favorite parts of the game, so I, it will be enjoyable, at least for me. Hope you guys enjoy it as well. So. That was it for Shal. Maybe I'll return here, maybe not. I just don't like this. So yeah, pretty easy. Just take out one of their camps early. Then just get a full army of necromancers and death knights. And you pretty much win. Yeah. Or else prepare to fight hundreds of skeletons. <laughs> okay guys, I'm sorry for just the random freezes. I'll try and minimize that damage to the video. Hope it doesn't affect your viewership. So yeah, that's gonna be it for Shal. Next video will be the Crystal Wastes. Hopefully with less freezing. I'll try and maybe reinstall the game. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed watching the video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.